Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I'm bringing you some super wicked and super lame gameplay. The reason it's wicked is because I'm almost at a chem strike. I actually managed to get to 21 kills, I believe. Pure gun streak before getting disconnected because the host thought, you know what? Just leaving and leaving host migration is too good for these people. And so he rage quits, and I presume it's a he because I only presume a douche nozzle would uh, do this. It could be a she, you know. I don't know. I can't tell. I don't even know who's host because, you know, they thought, you know what? We don't need to be able to see pings and or bars in the scoreboard. We shouldn't be able to let we shouldn't let players know who has a good connection and who has a shit one they shouldn't be able to be aware of how shitty their connection might be you know before you could tell who was pulling host because you could see four bars um when everyone else is you know shitty connection uh like usually when people would rage quit you would see four bars on one person and the rest would have two to one bar because they're all lagging out and because they removed this option you can't tell who's host so you know I don't know why that happened I don't know why it was so necessary to remove that option it didn't seem to be a problem in the past and it seemed to be in every single game so I have no idea why they thought that uh, such a interesting and useful tool should be gone from this game I guess they thought they didn't need it because of dedicated servers. You can't see it, but I'm doing air quotes. But anyways, here, this was pretty badass, I think. Just ninja it up and killed everyone. But, you know, this is a bittersweet gameplay because while I did get close to a cam strike, I also, you know, got disconnected. And I actually got two helo pilots, which I completely regret having helo pilot on this game. Or at least in this map. Because, uh, you know, in terms of Helo Pilot and any air support, really, for some particular maps on Ghost, they're completely useless. This would be one of them. Because, well, as you can imagine, most of this map has some form of roofs where your bullets can't hit. And because of the flippin idea to put freaking invisible barriers all around the wall well not the wall but the building's airspace so your chopper can't really fly uh, anywhere besides just directly above and of course because there's roofs you can't really shoot anyone if you're directly above you need to angle yourself but because of the fact that there's barriers you can't really angle your helo in a way to attack the players for example you'll see uh, soon in this gameplay where I actually fly in and you know it's really hard to position it and t to top it off you can't really position it because of the barriers const constantly being in the way I mean why it's a freaking building you should be able to fly all around it but no you should only fly right above only above because game breaking that's what it's <sighs> I mean, I I have I go through all this trouble to earn this kill streak. That's completely shit on this map. And you know what? Every single high kill streak is completely shit on this map because of the stupid way this map is made. Ugh, look at it. Look at this, by the way. Wow, such a short-lived chopper. I I bust my hump trying to earn this kill streak, and then it gets destroyed by a collapsing building. Okay, yeah, cool. In-game events such as earthquakes and or, you know, building falling. You know, I don't know how a helo pilot or a chopper can be affected by a building falling uh, a couple, you know, meters away from it. But it seemingly gets completely destroyed to smithereens. I have no idea why. And actually, out of the two helo pilots here, both of them get destroyed by the collapsing building. Not that would have made a difference, because, you know, this map is designed in such a way where any air support is pretty much useless. I mean, if you're trying to attack B, you're hitting the freaking barrier, so you can't really back up far enough to attack B. You need to completely reposition yourself, and in, in a, if you go and reposition yourself, you're basically going to be hitting a wall, and you can't really attack B. The same thing goes for C. If you go towards C, you're hitting a barrier, and most of C is covered by your collapsed roof or floor whatever you want to call it considering this map is flipped on its side you know it 
gets irritating because you can't attack anyone on this map with a helo pilot on seas, which is usually where they're trapped at. You know, they can't do jack... You can't, you can't do jack shit to them because, you know, most of the whole map is concealed. And the few parts that are unconcealed have barriers, invisible ones, that keep your chopper from being able to angle your bullets to kill enemies, which makes... Helo pilot completely useless, and any high kill streak completely useless. It's just you know disappointing. Any even in times where you can actually hit the players, the hit detection and or bullets are completely useless. I've had moments where I fly my helo pilot and shoot like a meter away from a character and kill that character. However. More often than not, I have moments where I literally spray a group of people multiple times or just one particular enemy who's not moving. I'm clearly hitting him because I can see the splash damage around him. But no hit markers and or just one hit marker every so often. And, you know, eventually the helicopter leaves because I've been shooting this guy for so long and he still hasn't died and I still haven't moved on to the next person because I'm trying to find out what possibly logical way uh, this person is surviving this onslaught of bullets that's raining upon him I just I don't even I hate this game though not the game itself but this particular match here because it was just written with just absolute sh asinine shit it was just you know helo pilot completely useless to top it off you know it's not only useless but I guess destroyed instantly when I deploy it for the first time, which is, I mean, what? And, you know, eventually I get disconnected because they time out. And the worst thing about it was I was playing with a group of people who all had mics who were communicating. I personally wasn't, but I was enjoying the conversation. And, yeah, they seemed pretty likable. They uh, clearly were communicating and trying to play the objective, which is rare. I usually get stuck on the opposite team, uh... With no mics, which usually never communicates with each other. <sighs> and I lost this awesome team because of a rage quit. And here you see my last kill, you know, four kills away from a cam, four kills away from my first ever cam strike, and I'm gone. Rage quit. Yes. Awesome. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this flurry of awfulness. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.